Welcome to PlayStation Corner, my name is Alex and today we're going to be taking a look at my favourite PSN deals covering the US, Canada, UK, EU and Australia. Let's get straight into this week so hit subscribe, join us here for reviews, deals and lists weekly and let's get started. So right now, PlayStation have their under $20 sale, a seemingly good way to start the new year when bank accounts are no question a little emptier. That said, I'm not all that impressed. It's a sale where they are out to deceive you with a tagline of, you know, tons of games, lots of good deals, but many of these, honestly, they always drop sub $20. I did still find a batch, do not get me wrong, I just kind of wanted to put that word out there. I also then have a $10 PSN gift card winner to announce later in the video and another $10 PSN gift card to give away. To enter, drop a comment down below on the winner that will be announced in next week's video. The Callisto Protocol to kick us off then it's 20% off and it's the only deal today that doesn't come from that under $20 promotion that they are running currently. It makes sense though given the fact it only just released and this pricing that is the PS5 build and PS4. If you want just PS4 you can take about $8 off this price. The game though from members of the Dead Space team and many were hoping for a successor and unfortunately that wasn't quite the case. Now I actually reviewed this one on Xbox Corner, I've linked that down below and I still had fun with the game, it's just let down by a lackluster combat control scheme and honestly it's just not a scary game. Where it does deliver visually it is stunning, the Hollywood cast they do a great job in the world, I really did like it. Hopefully though it's done enough now for a follow up where they can completely you know deliver on the promise. Serial Cleaners then is 25% off, that is a new low price, it's another recent release and this one it mostly flew under the radar. I picked it up though at launch, I really enjoyed its particular brand of stealth gameplay. The idea is really simple as well, enter these locations, these crime scenes and clean up whatever, you know, series of murderous offence occurred, all while collecting and hiding evidence and avoiding things like cop security and so on. The visual style here though I really like, it gives me an air of Disco Elysium and then the story, I wouldn't say it weaves a great tale but I really appreciated hearing the backstory of each of these characters and how they basically ended up in this world. The Legend of Tian Ding then, while I'm on new releases, it's a launch discount 20% off on this one. It's an action platformer set around a character that holds similarities to Robin Hood, but throwing in a dash of think Metroidvania in its level design then, and also some open exploration. The exploration element is weak, mainly due to the fact it is 2D, so it results in a huge amount of backtracking, but I really like the platforming, the combat is great fun, and the upgradable skills and character growth that really worked for me. It also just generally looks great, that kind of cartoon style. This new version then has a free PS5 upgrade that includes 120 frames per second, and they also added in a boss rush mode for all platforms. Planet Coaster then is back matching the low 75% off, I've always been a sucker for a tycoon builder, it was no different here, loved how this game visually looked though, I think they did a great job of maximising the next gen power to give us just more detail than ever. Naturally the name of the game here is simple, build the best park possible, expand upon attractions and of course turn a profit while keeping those guests happy. It packs a selection then of scenarios and sandbox options and if you really do get into it there's a huge amount of paid DLC as well and that's going to add gameplay options as well as raid selections. Days Gone then gets 60% off, it's been very slightly cheaper in the past, that said this is not a recommendation, rather maybe you'll want to join me for the ride because it's my pickup and this has long been one I've wanted to check out and just not got around to. Let me know in the comments if you've played it before and if it's going to be worth the time. I know it had some controversy surrounding it at launch and a sequel it was cancelled but I don't really know the backstory there. What I do know though is it has quite the following at this point. My understanding of the game itself then it throws you into the aftermath of a pandemic that has resulted in some sort of zombie outbreak and now we are exploring an open world fighting back with a chance to play all out action or with a stealth focus. Really looking forward to finally getting into this and January generally is a slow month so it's a good chance to kind of catch up on some of those games you missed. PS5 then it adds in at 60 frames per second as well and from what I'm hearing that performance is flawless. 
Iron Harvest Complete Edition then is one for the real-time strategy fans out there. It's back matching the low price, 70% off, and in my opinion, that price is a steal, especially when you factor in all of the content. You know, that's where this one wins. It packs single player with four campaigns, totaling 27 missions. There's all DLC. There's co-op play that is even competitive. We don't even get a huge amount of real-time options on the system either, so it's really nice to like have that option. They also did a fantastic job here of bringing the control scheme to DualSense. The world then really elevates it for me, an alternative reality. It's set in the 1920s onwards, and we'll be piloting everything from diesel punk mechs to newly introduced air units. It looks great as well, finally, but it is worth knowing here this it's not available for the ps4 it is ps5 only the surge 2 then this one's four years old now but a great action rpg and i'm curious to see if we see any more from this unique world but this and the original game are both well worth a look the story we crash landed in a grim town at jericho city that has a mysterious storm overhead now there's basically a huge amount of enemies attacking and you must explore and fight back it's a game which dials up the difficulty, taking influence from Souls, but I really like the futuristic world and the mech-like armor suits that we leverage. You know, they add more than a few special abilities. It's matching the low price then, 66% off. Immortals Phoenix Rising gets a new low then, 80% off, and while it was discounted incredibly quickly after launch, I'm hoping there's still a sequel in its future because this was a great time. Somewhat a Zelda Breath of the Wild styled adventure, it throws you into an open world as a recently winged demigod and you are out to save the Greek god. So basically at home it's under attack from a dark curse and we're going to be fighting back with a slew of weapons and of course a huge amount of exploration that takes cues from Assassin's Creed. That combat though, just great fun. The ability to fly is freeing and if you enjoy it enough, there's a whole host of paid DLC out there that adds new gameplay from a new lead character in Chinese mythology to a more isometric viewpoint. Definitely a winning game, a lot of creativity as well in here packed in, and yeah, don't overlook it because it's constantly in the bargain bin. Our winner of the week then is going to Esperago, who shouted out Soul Hackers and the fact the series deserves a little love. Let us know if any of you picked that one up in the comments like myself, I'm really looking forward to diving in. Congrats though, drop me an email to claim your code and everyone else, drop a comment down below for your chance in the next video. Kina Bridge of Spirits then to close us out, now I reviewed this on the channel, find that in the pinned comment below. It's 55% off though and that is a price we have seen before, yes, but only for PS Plus members. Now everybody gets their chance. A third person action adventure, the story here we're following a young spirit guide that helps the deceased move to the afterlife, but basically we come across a location where Something is definitely wrong with the spirits, they are not moving on. Now we must navigate this world and cover the truth to this occurrence and face all sorts of battles. My only warning with this one is it's got this fantastic almost Pixar meets Ghibli style to it all. Might make it look forgiving and that's really not the case because some of the combat really is quite challenging, especially the packed in boss encounters. I'm sure though at this point we will be seeing more of this world after it won a fair few awards including Best Indie at the Game Awards in 2021. And that is the video down. As I say, 800 games went on sale, but it's not all of that impressive, so do dig through, kind of take a look for yourself. This is definitely a quantity over quality play in my opinion though, with them pulling in deals we've seen more than a fair few times before. Will you be picking up anything though? Let us know in the comments below. With that then, like, hit subscribe, join us here for reviews, deals and lists weekly, and I'll see you all on the next video. Thanks everyone.